So even hello, I'll do my best. Thank you. So I thought I would take the five minutes, really, because there's a lot of new faces here, to tell everybody a little bit. What's the matter? Yeah. Oh, sorry. Uh, <laughs> I thought it was the camera. Okay. Um, just to, t to take the time to introduce those who are not familiar what, with what the International Coastal Atlas is. Um, in a nutshell, we are a community of scientists, data managers, data providers, who organized ourselves in about, and I think it was 2006, um, and continued to get bigger and bigger in our organization. And we all had sort of a, an appreciation and a passion for um, how coastal web atlases can assist individuals who are trying to do coastal zone management. So it is our intent, as this organization has grown, to provide leadership and guidance in an ad hoc, or it always used to have, it used to be in an ad hoc form, to interested um, people within the community of coastal resource management. So we have a definition for what is a coastal web atlas. I'm not going to read it to you, but we um, confirmed that def definition or adopted it. Um, in 2007. And then we established a whole series of goals. Um, at, probably at the top of the list is to ensure that the network of ICANN has wide representation so that it is inclusive of not only Coastal Web Atlas, Atlas developers, but also the user community and the broader stakeholder community. Um, it is our hope to provide policy and guidelines for those who are developing, to encourage the use of interoperability and to identify standards, to collaborate on projects, which is some of the things that we have been doing to date. They include projects like the Caribbean Marine Atlas, as well as the African Coastal Marine Atlas, um, SpinCam, and to align those kinds of efforts to help facilitate interoperability and to, again, to encourage it. Um, so our membership, this, act, this slide is actually out of date. Um, I think our membership is probably closer to about 80 different organizations um, and from probably 20 or so um, nations around the world. This is just a sample. And then some recent achievements or highlights. Um, we developed a coastal informat informatics handbook for Web Atlas design and implementation. This was a, um, a documented book that was edited by John Wright, Ned Dwyer, and Valerie Cummins with contributions from um, global Web Atlas developers who were associated um, with the ICANN organization. It included case studies principles of design, um, and some governance issues as well. The, the ICANN Interoperability Portal, if you were here in December, you heard a little bit about that. And I believe Tanya and Yasin are going to talk a little bit about that on Wednesday in the session. But again, that is the mechanism by which we hope to connect individual atlases, whether at the national or agency level, um, around the world. Um, we have a website, and the website is inclusive of publications and handbooks. It serves as a resource for, um, um, for individuals looking to develop coastal web atlases. We have a newsletter. We participate, offer training um, through various venues. Sometimes it's through IODE organized venues. Sometimes it's through our own workshops in the past. Um, and so these are a number of the things we have been involved in. Um, and above all, of course, we support the Coastal Web Atlas development. This is an example from the African Coastal and Marine Atlas. Um, I think you'll hear a little bit more about some of the um, functionality, the architecture that has gone into this. You've seen, again, Anton, you're going to talk um, from the more te technical perspective. We have a workshop about every other year. Um, now, often associated with COSGIS, but not 
necessarily always. Um, our next workshop is going to be in 2015. It's going to be held in South Africa. And I guess somebody decided my last slide really wasn't good, so it's not there. <laughs> um, but, um, but so the last thing that I'll say is that um, I, in 2000, March of 2013, ICANN actually became an official project of the IODE. And so with that, we are, you know, we are here to kind of continue to support the projects, um, various projects under the IODE, including the Caribbean Marine Alice. Is that five minutes? Five minutes? <laughs> okay. Any questions? Thank you.